Yo, what's going on guys, Anders here and today we are going to compare the speeds of a hard drive versus an SSD. Let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see we are not on the studio, but we still in the studio. This is just the site that you never see. This is the place where my girlfriend do all her beauty stuff and all that kind of stuff that she likes. And what is the problem? Uh, right now, as you can see, we have here an iMac on my back which is her iMac and recently she feels kind of a slow like it's not working as how she want and I was taking a look this uh, 2015 iMac the one that was built when Apple have the great idea to make the RAM on board so the first thing that I check of course for default I know that I cannot change the RAM so I checked the hard drive of the iMac and we noticed that it's not that fast so now we are going to do a comparison of how is the speed of the iMac with the current hard drive and then we are going to do a comparison after change to an SSD so let's go ahead and take a look to do this comparison we will use the disk speed test app from Blackmagic Design and first off we will make sure that we stress the hard drive and the SSD to the max so we can get the best results possible and we can see that with the current hard drive it's giving us for both write and read speeds between 95 megabytes per second to 98 megabytes per second trying to hit the 100 megabytes per second we will upgrade to the SU800 SSD from ADATA. This SSD features capacities from 128GB to 2TB and read and write speeds up to 560 and 520MB per second. On this case we went for the 2TB SSD. So now it's time to take the iMac to the Apple service to change the SSD and continue with our test. Alright guys, so as you can see we just got back the iMac from the Apple service and first off, we can see that the iMac is already detecting the 2TB SSD. So let's go ahead and do the same speed test. Now this is what I'm talking about guys. As you can see, this SSD is almost 4 times faster than the hard drive. Hitting read speeds between 450 to 470 megabytes per second. And read the speeds of 440 megabytes per second to 500 megabytes per second. Which is only 90% of the feature specs that ADATA show in their website. But this variation can be probably for the hardware of the iMac, which is understandable. So, as you can see, you can get a lot of performance by just changing the SSD and this applies for everything, not just for video edition, also for gaming or whatever that you want to do. You will get a very big change on performance of your computer and even for Apple products. Now, the original hard drive of the iMac can be reused as an external hard drive by using an enclosure. So, not only we did upgrade our iMac, we also won an external hard drive. And that's all for today's video my friends, let us know in the comments below if you want more of these small tips to you improve the performance of your system. If you like the video don't forget to give that thumbs up, share, subscribe and smash the notifications bell on that way you won't miss any of our future videos and content. This is Anders, see you next time.